Right guys, and the next thing I'm going to show you how extra movement in, uh, in the, uh, the assault phase can be absolutely key to winning the game. Um, and so as we've discussed before, you can use uh, extra movement to, um, to grab objectives, um, you can use it to tie units up. Um, the other thing you can do is you can stop your own units being shot. So if these Deathwing Knights, if they want to assault, um, they, they may want to assault both the cultists and the Nurglings here. Now these Deathwing Knights, they could easily kill both units. Though that's not very ben beneficial because next turn these obliterators are going to kill the Deathwing Knights. So the best thing to do here is only declare the cultists as the, uh, as the intended target. And what we're going to aim to do is kill the cultists but tie up this unit of Nurglings. So when I roll my charge range, seven inches, that's enough to get me where I need to get. So all I'm gonna do is put one unit here within an inch and the rest of the unit is gonna move somewhere completely different. Because we know we can kill this unit of cultists here. So um, what we have to stay more than an inch away from this unit in the charge phase because we didn't declare it as a target. Whereas we have to get within an inch of that unit there. So when we now pile in, we're gonna pile in our three inches to here, to here, here, and here. And we'll pile in here as well. So these two units, these two models can fight and they'll easily kill these cultists here. Now when we pile in, we're gonna make sure that we cover at least three models form a sort of triangle around it to prevent this Nurgling from escaping. And we have to keep in your, your unit coherency as well. So we can't actually fight against this Nurgling because we didn't declare it as a target. Now, next turn, this Nurgling can't move out of combat because it can't move through the Terminators because it can't physically fit there. So the Obliterators, they can't actually shoot the Deathwing Knights.